So in this video, we will learn how to create a shared Google Drive folder and send an email from ClickUp task. So in this automation guys, what we are doing, we are just creating a new task in our ClickUp account. And whenever we create a new task for some of our team members in ClickUp account, instantly, automatically, a new folder, a new shared folder has been created in our Google Drive. And also guys, automatically, we are going to send an email with the new task details and the link of the shared folder to the team member, to the same team member to whom we have assigned a new task in ClickUp. Isn't it amazing? Now how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Public Connect's dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a pre sign up link of Public Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Public Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on Create Workflow and give your workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as ClickUp to Google Drive to Gmail and then just click on create. Now we can see that our workflow is open over here and in this workflow we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first we have to get the details of a new task which we are creating and assigning to our team members in ClickUp inside Public Connect. So first we have to connect ClickUp with Public Connect and get the new task details. Then after that using those task details we are going to create a shared folder on our Google Drive, on our company's Google Drive and then at last we are going to send an email to the same team member for whom we have created a new task in ClickUp and also guys what we are going to do, we are going to share the shared Google Drive folder which we have created, it's linked with that email. So let's begin. So here in trigger window, in choose app, we have to search for ClickUp. Select ClickUp over here. And after that, in trigger event from the drop down, here you can see that in the drop down below for a new task, we have two different trigger events. First one is the new task and second one is the new task instant. So if you select new task instant as the trigger event, you will instantly within seconds get the data of the new task as you title the task, as you enter the name of the task and click up inside Public Connect. But if you want to get the details of the task every 10 minutes, like if you want to get some time to enter the name of the task, the description and other details of the task, and then after a difference of 10 minutes approximately, you want to get the task details inside Public Connect, you can use new task as the trigger event. So I am I'm going to use new task as a trigger event because I want to get the time of 10 minutes. So every 10 minutes, Public Connect is going to check our ClickUp account and get the details of the new task. Now after this guys, after selecting a trigger event, just click on connect and select add new connection. So here guys, we have to connect our ClickUp account with Public Connect over here. And to make this connection, it requires the API token of a ClickUp account. So how you can get the API token? Just follow the help text given below over here. Just go to your ClickUp account and after reaching here, on the left side, here you can see profiles option. Just click on it and here you can see that apps option over here. Just click on apps. Now as you click on apps, here you can see that you can see the API token of your ClickUp account. Just click copy this API token from here, go to Public Connect and paste it over here. And then just click on save. Then after that, after making the connection, the first thing it asks us is the workspace name. That from which workspace we want to get the new task details. So it is most likely possible that from your work ClickUp account, you may be added into multiple workspaces. So from the drop down below, you can see a list of all the workspaces which you are added in and you can select the workspace. Right now, I'm only added in in a single workspace that is Pavlis workspace. So we have selected it. Then it is asking us for the space name, that what is the name of the space. So in our ClickUp account, you can see that the name of the space is Pavli Connect. So here you can see that we have selected that space public connect. Then you have to select the folder and then you have to select the list that in which list you are creating new tasks. So this is the list named as new integration where we are going to create a new task. Now after all of this guys, what we have to do, we just have to click on save and send test request. And when we click on save and send test request, it will capture the details of the most recent, the latest task which we have created in this particular list. It will get the details of that task. 
But right now we haven't created any task in our account. So let's create a new task. For example, I would like to add a task, for example, update the graphics of the website. Okay, so this is the title of the task which we have created. Now, after giving the title to your new task which you have created, let's assign this task. So in, just click on this assign option. And here I have a teammate to whom I want to assign the task. So we are going to select our teammate to whom we want to assign the task. Then you can add tags and other details in this uh, new task as well. After this guys, let's click on save. And here we have created a new task. We also want to add some kind of description for this task. Let's add a description as we have to update the graphics and UI on our website. So this is the description. We have added the assign over here and you can basically add some other details for this task as well. So in this way, you just have to create a new task in ClickUp. After creating this task, guys, we will go back to Public Connect and we will click on Save and Send Test Request. Now, when we click on Save and Send Test Request, guys, we can see that we have received some response and in this response, we will get the details of the most recent task which we have created in ClickUp. So what it is guys here, after making this connection between ClickUp and Pabli Connect, using this trigger event of new task, every 10 minutes, Pabli Connect will go and check for the new updated task, new task which we have created. It will get the details of those new tasks inside our Pabli Connect workflow and it will process this automation workflow. So here in the response which we have received, you can see that we have the description of the task which we have created. Then we have the status of the task over here, as you can see. Then we will scroll down and we will see some other details as well. We have the name of the project. Then we will scroll down and here you can see the title of the task which we have given. Then we also have the name of the list that in which list we have created this task. And when we will scroll down, we will see the name of the user to whom we have assigned this task. So we have the email address of the user and the name as well. So in this way, guys, you can see that the step one of setting up this automation is completed. We have successfully received new task details from ClickUp inside Public Connect. Now, after this, let's move to step two. And using these details, guys, we want to create a new folder in our Google Drive, a new shared folder in our Google Drive so that we can share that folder with our team member to whom we have assigned the task. And the name of that folder will be the name of the task which we give in ClickUp. So let's begin. For that, just scroll down, come to our action window and here in choose app, search for Google Drive. Select Google Drive over here. And then in action event from the drop down, you have to select the action event as create shared folder. Okay, so create folder in shared drive. This is the action event which we are going to use. Just select this action event, click on connect and then select add new connection. So now guys, what we have to do, we have to connect our Google Drive account with Public Connect. And to make this connection, just click on this connect with Google Drive button, select your Google Drive account in which you want to create the folder. Scroll down and click on allow. And as we click on allow, we can see that our Google Drive account gets connected with Public Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is shared drive name. So it is most likely possible guys, in your Google Drive account, you have created some shared drive that in which shared drive you want to create this folder. So here I have a shared drive in my Google Drive account named as test drive. And here you can see that right now in this shared drive, we don't have any folder. So I want to create a shared folder in this drive. So I've selected this drive over here. Then it is asking us for the folder name that what will be the name of the new folder which you are going to create. So just click here and we want the name of the new task to be the folder name. So for every new task we create in ClickUp, we are going to create a new folder in this drive. So that is why what we are going to do, we are going to enter the name of the new task, the title of the task as the name of the folder. So what we have to do, we have to basically map this response of name of the task over here in this field. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and in the drop down below, you can see a list of all the responses which you have received from ClickUp can be seen over here. And out of all of these responses, select the response of the name of the task and it will be mapped over here. So whatever name we are going to give to the new task in ClickUp, the same name will be received inside Public Connect. And with the same name, we are going to create a new folder in the shared drive of our Google Drive. Now, after mapping the name, just click on Save and Send Test Request. And then now we can see that we have received some response and this response seems to be a positive response to us. 
this response shows that a folder in shared drive has been created in our Google Drive account. So let's check it. We will go to Google Drive and yes, here you can see that a new folder has been created with the same name, with the name or the title which we have given to the task in ClickUp. So guys, now we can see that we have successfully created a new shared folder in our Google Drive as well. So the step two of setting up this automation is also completed. Now after this guys, what we want to do, we want to send an email to the same team member to whom we have assigned the task with the details of the task and also the link of this, this shared Google Drive folder. Now here we have the link, let's check for the link, yes, here it is the web view link of this folder. Now to send the mail, just scroll down, click on this add action step button over here and then in choose app, search for Gmail. Select Gmail over here. And after that, in action event from the drop down, select the action event as send email. Click on connect and select add new connection. So here guys, you have to connect your Gmail account using which you are going to send emails. Just click on this connect with Gmail button, select your Gmail account, and then just scroll down and click on allow. And as we click on allow, we can see that our Gmail account gets connected with Pavli Connect. After this, the first thing it asks us is the recipient email address. So what is the email address of the person to whom we want to send the mail? So we want to send the mail to the assignee, the team member to whom we have assigned the task. And from ClickUp with the task details, we have received the email address of our team member. So what we have to do, we have to map the same email address over here in this field of recipient email address. Just click on this field and in the drop down below from the responses of ClickUp, select the response of the email address of the team member. So here we have the assignee's email. Just select this response and map it over here. After mapping the assignee email, it is asking us CC, BCC, sender's name. So if you want to keep someone in BCC or CC, you can add their email address. Then it is asking us for the sender's name that from by what name you want to send the email. For example, I want to send the email by the name of Pabli. Then it is asking us for the email subject line. So here I want the subject line of my email to be new task. And then after that, after a colon, we want to mention the name of the task. So from the ClickUp responses, select the response of the name of the task and map it over here. So this will be the subject line of the email which we are going to send. Then if you have some specific reply to email address, you can add it over here. Then it is asking us for the email content type. So in the drop down below, here you can see that a plain email or HTML email. We have two different types of email. So I'm just sending a plain email. Then it comes the email content. And this is the actual field guys, we are, we are going to create the actual body of the email which we are going to send. So I want this email to be hello. Okay, so here I have written hello, we have a new task for you. And then we have the task name. So here we are going to map the name of the task from the ClickUp responses, one second map the name. Then we want to map the description. So just map the description of the class. And then with the details of a new task, which we have received from ClickUp, you can map other details of the task as well. So let's add the project name that for what project this new task has been created, map the project name as well. Then after that, I also want to update the user that a new folder in shared Google Drive has been created. So here, let me add those details as well. And after that, here we want to mention the URL of the Google Drive folder. So from the response of Google Drive, which we have received after creating a shared folder, select the response of the link of that folder. And then let's add thank you. So in this way, guys, you can basically create any type of email content and add all the details from which you have received from ClickUp and Google Drive over here. After creating the body of the email, it is asking us file name and attachment. So if you want to send some kind of files and attachments, you can basically map those file names or file URLs over here as well. Now, after creating the email, just click on save and send test request. Now we can see that we have received some response and this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the email has been sent on the same email address of the assignee to whom we have assigned the task and click up. So let's check it. We will go to a new tab. We'll go to Gmail. And we are going to check the email inbox. And yes, guys, here you can see that we have received a new email inbox, which says new task update the graphics of the website. So same task name, which we have added. Then this message says, hello, we have a new task for you. Task name, we have the same task name, which we have created in ClickUp. 
Then after that, you can see that we have that same task description and also we have the link of the Google Drive which we have created. When we click on this link, you can see that the shared drive has been opened in front of us. So in this way, we can see that the automation workflow which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. Now, every time you are going to create a new task for your team member in ClickUp, automatically we are going to get the details of that task. We will create a shared folder in our Google Drive for that task and we will share all of those details with our team member to whom we have assigned that task as well. So guys, after creating this automation, let's test this automation once in real time as well. For that, just go to your ClickUp account and we are going to create a new task over here. For example, let's create a new task or real time test. This is the name of the task. Then let's add an assignee as the same user. Then click on save. Then add the description as well. For example, the description of this task is we have to test this automation in real time. This is the description. So just now guys, we have added a new task in our ClickUp and then as we add, add this task within 10 minutes, guys, we will see a new folder will be created in our shared Google Drive and then automatically we are going to send another email to our team member as well. So let's wait for 10 minutes over here because this trigger of ClickUp of new tasks will take 10 minutes to get the new task details. Okay, so after waiting for some time, let's check our Google Drive. And yes, here you can see that in our Google Drive, a new folder has been created with the same title of the new task which we have given. And also on our Gmail account, we can see that a new email has been sent to a team member to whom we have sent this email. So here we, we have the email, hello, we have a new task for you, the task name, real time test, description, we have a new, you have to test this automation in real time, we have the name of the project in which we have created this task as well, that is integration. And also we can see the link of the same Google Drive folder, shared folder which we have created. So we have tested this automation in real time and we can see that this automation is working perfectly fine. So not just these application guys, you can connect plenty of other applications using Pavli Connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this workflow for absolutely free. And also let me tell you, Pavli Connect offers you a forever free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pavli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestion and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.